This is the Senate Ad Hoc Committee on Turnaround Maintenance of Nigerian Refineries. We are here in Port Harcourt. Yesterday we were in River in Worry, and here today we are in Port Harcourt. We have done our investigation on the work being done in the in the Port Harcourt refinery. And we are here to assess the level of preparedness of both the old and the new Port Harcourt refinery. We will recall that the old Port Harcourt refinery was the first refinery in Nigeria built in 1965, and the second one was built in 1989. And for so long now, they have not been in active service. And with the renewed hope of agenda of Mr. President, and also the desire of Nigerian and our determination in the destiny led by our president, Senator Godswill Ababio. We deemed it fit. We have a resolution in the Senate to look and make sure that Nigerian refineries are working so that we shouldn't be depending on importation of petroleum products. And that is one of the reasons why we are here and as well to look into the contract and then to investigate the level of compliance vis-a-vis -vis the contract. We are pleased to know that what we saw is most encouraging as the refinery upgrade and full rehabilitation is almost at 90% completed. We are confident that the refinery will soon be operational before the end of the year. Welcome you to our state and uh, to say thank you for coming to pay this courtesy visit. Permit me to say this. Anybody who disrespects, no matter how little the person is in authority, No matter how you think you have succeeded, it will come back to you in a bitter pill. I'm aware that you're not, this is not the actual number, you were more than this. I'm also aware that one of the senators representing, unfortunately, my senatorial district. They didn't want you both to come. But because you are men of integrity, as they claim, the real ones who have integrity, you decided to come and do what is right. God will bless you. What you're doing is the right thing. It doesn't matter. Politics is a business of interest. Your worst enemy today can become your best friend tomorrow. It's a business of interest. Unfortunately, some people think it's something that has to do with life or death. And that is one mistake everybody does when you overtake this business outside the normal principle of its so I'm not worried. I'm happy. It's recorded that the Senate committee came and they visited the government house of River State and we received them. Thank you. As about your mission to our state, we're happy that the refinery is really um, the work there is ongoing and to the very reasonable extent, very soon it will be operational. We as a state, before the commencement of the job, as a contribution that we wanted to make to support the refinery because of the deplorable state of the East-West Road. There is a road 
emoji and that all. You can see that yeah, the, we are almost completing the bridge. It's uh, about 70%. They're doing almost the last part of it. With that road, it will help to decongest the trouble commuters face along the east-west road and easy access straight to the refinery. So you can see our government is working in line, supporting the administration of President Tenebo to give our people hope and assurance that, and it is this role that you're playing genuinely and the support of the state government that is the only way we can achieve a purpose for everyone. The purpose of governance is to make life easy for its people. And I'm happy that your investigation will result to making life easy for people. When operation of the refinery starts, there will be product. Issue of importation will go down. We will now make our own effects economy will grow. Internal revenue will increase. More projects will be executed in states. You can see it's a chain thing. So I want to thank you. I want to also leave you with this. We might be a state that has, uh, has been presented. We have issues. We don't have any issue. Our eyes are on the ball to deliver for our people, even in the face of this deliberate destruction. We will not fail our people because at the end, it is our people that count. Distinguished Service Town of River State, members of the National Assembly, my colleagues in the House of Representatives, and especially the River State Caucus, under the leadership of our very wonderful mentor and leader, the ever vibrant uh, Abiante, <laughs> and other members of the, of the caucus in the House. Uh, the Secretary of the State Government and members of the State Executive Council. Your Excellency, this afternoon we are here to pay a courtesy call on you uh, to express our gratitude. One for accepting to host the first media retreat of the Public Account Committee of the House of Representatives. And we're here today in our numbers, like you can see, we also have a team of um, consultants and the secretariat of this committee headed by the man just uh, immediately behind me here. He's the director of the Public Account Committee, Mr. Agusa Alifemi Titus and his staff. The Public Account Committee is a committee that is not strange to you, Your Excellency, because apart from being the governor of the state, you were also once the accountant general of this good state. And uh, the Accountant General, I'm sure, you had a lot of engagement with the Public Account Committee of the River State uh, House of Assembly. This is the only committee of the National Assembly specifically mentioned in the Nigerian Constitution. It is the committee that is saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that the resources of the state is used for the benefit of the state. And so, when we decided that we were going to have this retreat, which is our own way of uh, reclining to examine the last six months, um, see how far we've gone from the target we set for ourselves at the inauguration of the committee, the question came up on where this uh, retreat was going to hold. And uh, of course, a, a whole lot of uh, reasons will account for where we choose to go. One, we choose to come to River State because it's a very peaceful state. Mm. 
We also choose to come here because um, we have a driver who understands the purpose of governance and the person of the governor. I, I say this with all uh, sense of responsibility. You came in, you were not a regular politician. And um, you came in facing a lot of challenges, which we all know. Yet you did not allow that to take your eyes off the ball, which is service delivery. Within the first 100 days of your stewardship, you had more than 25 road projects in 100 days. You have also worked very, very hard to improve on the internal general revenue of the state and ensure that you block leakages of public resources. Now, these are some of the things that every parliament that has a public account committee encourages its committee to look at. And so it is not difficult for us when we're deciding on where to go for our retreat to identify River State as a place that is conducive and as a place that we can also use as a template for most other state governors and state governments. In addition, Your Excellency, we also have um, a member of this committee, the Constitutional Committee, so statutorily there must be one person from each state of the Federation on the committee. And somehow when the Speaker was deciding who should represent River State on this committee, he chose uh, one woman who has been uh, a very, very, very strong pillar of the parliament, Honorable Boma Goodhead, to represent River State on the Public Account Committee. Honorable Boma, for some of us who worked together with her in the Ninth Assembly, is somebody who doesn't um, hide her feelings, and she's a very forthright person. And she's one person whose uh, convictions are never hidden. <laughs> Whatever she believes in, she's convinced about, she espouses them. So when you combine uh, a Buma with an Abiante, I was joking with somebody recently. I said, if you want to just have an example of rivers, don't look at uh, Boniface if you want to, to know rivers. <laughs> look at Buma and look at Abiante. I said that. <laughs> You know, Reverend Abiante, we are together in the Equus Parliament. And at the end of the session of the Equus Parliament, which we ended before the inauguration of this one, there was an assessment of all the Nigerian parliamentarians in terms of output. And he ranks the best of all of us in the Equus Parliament. You know, Abiante will never miss any meeting, and uh, he will not only be there in person, he will participate very actively. So, uh, Your Excellency, we want to congratulate you for having a state that is so blessed with this kind of resource. And uh, so, when we decided to come here, we believe that we are coming home and we are coming to, to meet with people who are on the same wavelength with us so that we can rub minds and see how we can improve on our processes and improve on our service delivery um, to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You have a very significant name. I was trying to find out Siminalai. What does it mean? And uh, I learned it means even the poor can give birth to a king. <laughs> you know? And uh, that's very philosophical. Even the poor can give birth to a king. Now we thank God for where he has taken you. We thank God for what he has done with your life. And we thank God that you are also conscious of that in your determination to serve your people and on behalf of the members of the public account committee and I can say also of the leadership of the National Assembly, I want to encourage you to remain steadfast, to remain focused and like uh, my man from Quora said remain prayerful uh, I don't need to tell you that life is more of challenges and the more hurdles one crosses the more high to reach I pray that the Lord God Almighty will continue to endow you with the wisdom, the strength, the courage, and all that you require to be able to excel in this assignment. 
I want to thank you, Excellency, for accepting to host us and providing us with a very, very good reception. Uh, your team were with us in the airport to receive us yesterday. They kept us in a very beautiful hotel and they have catered very well for us. We appreciate that very greatly. We do not take it for granted. Uh, I would have said when you come to Abuja, we will retaliate. But uh, unfortunately, what do we have to retaliate with? <laughs> It is, the, it is the executive that holds the post. <laughs> the only thing we can retaliate with in code is to continue to pray for you yeah. and to continue to offer our suggestions and advice on things that we think you can do uh, to further serve your people. Um, I want to also thank your uh, Deputy Governor for her uh, support for you, for her cooperation with you, and I want to encourage her to please... Um, you know, continue in that state. So once again, on behalf of um, the deputy chairman and members of this committee and the secretariat and the consultant who have come with us on this uh, courtesy call, I want to thank you most sincerely. And I want to pray that God Almighty will be with you and uh, will come and come and come again. You don't go to a good place once. So reverse caucus, be prepared. <laughs> you know, when... It was been masterminded that uh, I would be removed. The arrangement was my deputy was going to. But unfortunately, she was always on my side. <laughs> so you're. You now understand what it means to be a great supporter. The chairman of uh, Public Accounts Committee, Honorable Bamidele Salim, and your members that are here, let me also recognize my God-sent team, led by... the secretary to the state government, other members of the state and state council that are here, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. When I was informed of this event, I did not hesitate to give my approval because as an accountant, I know what it means to have an interactive section with Public Accounts Committee. Let me do a little background. When I was appointed the Accountant General of the State, from the moment I assumed that position on the first of January 2020, the position of our state changed. We started recording, we started recording the best reporting of accounting report in Nigeria. I hope you are aware. You can go and check. Our record improved. We had nothing to hide because we understand the numbers and the presentations were very clear to everybody. So what does it reflect? It means that you're not, transparency is there. Accountability speaks when your reporting are in order. It, because it shows judicious use of resources without fear. Honestly, when you're reporting, it shows that, look, your records are in order. And those were the services we rendered to the immediate past administration. So when we came on board on our own, knowing fully well that this is what we know how to do best, it is proper for us to have a better relationship 
a closer ties with this committee. So I said, please, protocol, do everything you need to do to give them the best. And if they are coming, no matter how tight my shadow will be, I will still want to have, even if it's five minutes with them, so I can come. <laughs> so I'm happy to see you this afternoon to say thank you to you. The news about River State has always been, from the other side, negative stories. In fact, some people will tell you that the people who stay in government house now are militants. But I'm happy that when you got in here, you saw how decent this place is. Yes, that is the truth. And we need to encourage more of this visitation so that when you go back, you now tell the people the true story of Rivers. <laughs> no matter the challenges we are facing today, our eyes will still be on the ball. We will not lose focus. We have promised our people that our government will be a government of the people. We care for the people. The people is the most important thing. I read a book who said, what was the strength of Rome? The strength of Rome was just the people. When you have the people, you have everything. Yeah. It doesn't matter the higher mighty, the number of policemen that you carry, carry men you carry around. The people is the most important thing. Because the people are the ones who in their subunits control people. Who at the end control other people at the end makes the decision when the time comes. Yeah. It's not the policemen. It's not the army. It's not the escort. It is the people. So we are, our concern is the people. So our target, I'm also happy that you did mention most of the things we have done within the short period. As an organized government, when we came, when we came on board, we had a very big challenge. For 11 years, there was no promotion in this state. So imagine a government that inherited about 52,000 civil servants and you had to pay them because the, the, what we were paying before I came in was an average of 5.3. Let us even do 25% of it. <laughs> it can't be anything less than 8 point something. Is it not? That is what we started paying. How much is our location? So we need to think outside the box. That was where we now did a rejig of our internal revenue. And I can tell you today, all the projects we are doing, we don't borrow. Our, our, we are very transparent. We are not hiding anything. That is why I boldly will say it. The least we do this period is 26, 27. The highest they were doing before is 12 and 13. You're not, you're not going to take the money from me now, so why, am I, why would I tell you? It's for the people. And we'll make sure that we deploy this fund to the people. We'll make sure that we apply these funds areas that will bring positive change. Education, health care, agriculture. We we'll also do a few roads, but the most important thing is these three items. That is the only way we can save ourselves from this present situation of hardship. Save ourselves from this issue of suicidal ill. You call it courtesy, whatever you call it. If there is no good education, education is the only way we can go to instrument we can use to fight it. And we need the health care. You need to be alive to even drive a good car on the road. You can imagine how much we spend in medical tourism. 
So those are the targets of this government. And we assure you, just like our brother said there, I don't pray alone. The entire state is praying for us. And that is why we're achieving it without noise. We're achieving it without going on media. Um, what, do, what do people call it? Media Media hype. <laughs> so God is with us. We also continue to call his faces all the time to be with us. For our members, my message is very simple. We're on a crossroad in our country. We all need to stand on the side of truth. It doesn't matter the number. I've been saying it. What is important is any decision you make. You were here to tell me about the doggedness and uh, what is the uprightness of uh, my reps members, uh, uh, Boma and Adiante. What matters in life is not coming to say because you're on the radio, you say talk about the integrity, integrity, integrity. Mm. There are things that speak, that are evidence, public science on your body and around you that shows if you have integrity. That's the truth. And I can boldly say, without fear. Nobody can take it away from me. And if there is anything that made me want this position in the hearts of even those that are fighting me, it's because I was upright. <laughs> so if I were upright at that time, and it helped me to be where I am, eh? through God, although they say it's them, eh? but nothing happens without God. That is the truth. God is everything. If God says it won't be, it won't be. Yes. So if I could be upright at that time, why would I not be even one million and one time upright now? I assure you that that aspect of my life, no matter the challenges that I'm facing, I will not throw it to the dustbin. I'm happy that people that are associated with me have been commended publicly. It gives me joy. And I encourage them, please, that thing that you do that people are saying is good, continue to do it. It's a honor, honestly speaking, for one to talk about people publicly and, and well. It's not politics. The commendation is... It's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a uh, I call it a blank check anywhere. So I thank you for that honor that you've given to our people because of their good work publicly. And uh, as a government, we'll hold it there to our hearts. We'll continue to associate with them to make sure that they continue to do the best wherever they come or wherever they find themselves in the midst of reps members or even who knows tomorrow they might be outside reps to another place they will do well for us mm -hmm.